Agra RFP, for example, is uh, uh, envisioning an integrated command and control center with multiple applications uh, like uh, traffic management, surveillance, etc., all plugging in out here. And uh, I think I've zoomed in a little bit more. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's perfect. The thing is, uh, with these RFPs, uh, if you read those documents, uh, I think the requirements come out. Uh, and then uh, they do say things like we need an open uh, uh, standard, APIs, etc., etc. But that next level of technical detail is actually missing. So, uh, for example, they do say, you know, that the solution should be in this multi-layered approach with sensor layer, communication layer, data layer, application layer, etc. Now, uh, for example, the communication layer is well understood in some sense. Right? You have a lot of standards-based communication technologies available. Uh, what uh, we have been focusing on out here is the data layer uh, because we feel that that is actually a very important foundational layer uh, for the uh, smart cities and uh, we believe that it should be developed as a platform with open APIs and data models and uh, you know we, there should also be a reference implementation and hopefully that implementation is rugged, robust, stable enough that it can be the default implementation for all smart city solutions and it's open source free completely free implementation and uh, the thing is that uh, really where is the world going you know we need to have a uh, lot of applications which have intelligence uh, in built in them we need to support distributed edge computing uh, can you just zoom out a little bit and scroll up because we are kind of losing some of the points below um, you know so these are some of the things which need to be specified uh, uh, at greater, you know, with greater detail and which is kind of missing from these uh, RFPs. And uh, what we believe is that this has to be done in the, in the, in the form of a consortium to really define these at, in, in greater detail and uh, really uh, create some uh, very solid standard uh, base. Now what happens is that if you go to the uh, next slide, um, the specifications as they are, the, the RFP as it's given leads to creation of silos, right? Everyone will say, I'm using open source technology, but it, it is ending up being silos, surveillance, parking, all of these are end-to-end -end done by specific implementation uh, groups. And uh, it kind of prevents a uh, kind of uh, a more holistic uh, uh, integration of data and emergence of new kinds of applications. So, uh, so what we realized uh, uh, last year was that we really need to define this, uh, what you're calling the data exchange layer. Uh, sorry, can you just scroll down a little bit and center that? Yeah, uh, we, need to def uh, we need a very well-defined data exchange layer. And uh, if you look at the hourglass architecture, which is uh, kind of a well-known architecture also used by Adar, that neck of the hourglass, that is the key. You know, that is the data exchange stack if it's well defined, it will enable a whole sort of new kinds of devices and virtual sensors to be plugged in in the bottom and new applications develop at the top. And uh, one of the things uh, we all also very, uh, uh, we realize we should integrate as part of the data stack is support for media data. Typically video uh, and other media data is a separate entity, a separate beast by itself. But a lot of rich analytics can be done with video and enabling third party video analytics is actually going to be a very important uh, uh, critical thing. And uh, to do this, what we have done is, uh, you know, we have, we have been discussing with a number of companies and they've all expressed interest. Uh, Intel, Cisco, Bosch, Dell, VMware, uh, Tejas Networks, uh, etc. So we are in the process of formalizing a consortium to uh, uh, kind of, uh, you know, kind of get this stack defined and uh, uh, deployed. And the agenda of this consortium is going to be to come up with these definitions of this APIs, data models, and also create an open reference implementation. The, the initial version of this implementation will be done in Electronic City. So we are working with the Electronic City uh, authorities, LCTA. Uh, so we have identified a test site. You see out here, there is a fiber, the purple is a fiber optic loop and the stars are the junctions where cameras have been installed. So right now there are about 60 cameras with a uh, gigabit passive optical network and there is a micro data center where uh, a early version of the stack is running. And uh, uh, in the next few months, we'll be kind of completing this definition and the reference implementation and looking at uh, mobility as the major use case, mobility, air quality, and things related to that. So uh, this is basically how the stack looks. Uh, you know, 
the, the key things out here I want to just point out are besides the standard IoT data exchange related things like message buses, data stores, the stack also supports video and media. So that is something which is kind of different and support for stream analytics because with video you want to consume the video as close to the source of the video as possible. And uh, there are a few interesting concepts which we are bringing in in this stack. One is uh, the concept that the metadata should be, when you register the device, you should also register the metadata of the schema. I won't go into too much detail to keep the time short. For video streams, again, we want to kind of create video metadata which comes out along with the stream. It is an annotation data for the stream. Things like if you're taking video from a mobile camera, a drone, etc. what is the location of the drone, the time series data of the location of the drone. So that could be a very simple example of metadata too. Something very complex saying the number of autos in this portion of the video se segment is these many autos, you know, things like that. So uh, a framework to annotate and give that. Uh, then support for edge analytics, which is going to be very critical for video, uh, both from privacy reasons as well as bandwidth reasons. So here is a prototype uh, skim a cartoon of the test bed where we have a number of smart poles hooked up through this wide area network like GPON and then a micro data center. So this fog plus edge system uh, will basically be used for uh, streaming analytics. A concept of spaces, you know, when you think of GIS, we are thinking of shape layers or when you think of geolocation, it's like a very GPS coordinate. But uh, space regions, which is at a level of abstraction between all the way at the ground uh, GPS co coordinate to a very high level abstraction. It's a nice intermediate abstraction which can represent segments of roads, you know, maybe floors, rooms, etc. And that will be very important to enable uh, intelligent analytics to be done. And uh, uh, finally, uh, you know, besides security, privacy is something which uh, we, we, we are very conscious of putting right from day one into the stack and uh, working with the India stack, India stack as a privacy layer, so using that as a way to support privacy. And uh, uh, monetization, so another very important thing is that for cities to be self-sustaining, they have to monetize data because that is a recurrent uh, kind of thing which is coming. And uh, again, use the India stack to actually enable monetization. So with that, uh, the message I want to leave is that this data layer is the uh, key layer. Sorry, can you just scroll down a little bit? Uh, which uh, should be done in an open standards based approach. And uh, uh, it's something which we are doing with uh, a consortium. And uh, I welcome both of you to join in as part of this consortium. And uh, uh, you know, let's see if we can actually uh, make this something which can get adopted for all Indian smart cities.